My dog Xena attacked and killed a pigeon. She also tried to eat another live one. Xena! Xena, what are you doing? No, what are you- Let go of the dub, no! Hey! What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. For those of you that are new to the channel, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. Well, this is my bedroom, not my jungle, but this is one of my little jungle friends, Theo. Theo is my little capuchin monkey. He is my son and he is one of many animals that I live with here in South Florida. I live my life side by side monkeys and leopards and sloths and lemurs and every kind of exotic animal that you guys could possibly think of. Now, if you saw the title and thumbnail, well, you will know for today's video, it is quite a concerning, what do you see there? What is that? Who do you see? What do you see? Theo saw something that interested him, something he said, Jacob, he's saying, dad, what is that? That looked like some bad news. You're a good little boy. You're a good monkey. Hug, 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 hug. Can I have a hug? Oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, oh. Oh, so nice. Oh, oh, you're a good boy. Anyways, for today's video, well, if you saw the title and thumbnail, you will know. My dog, Xena, attacked and killed a pigeon. She also tried to eat another live one. In just a bit, we are going to be hopping into the craziness of today's video involving my dogs. But before we do that, well, we've actually got to run over to the incubator. We got to check it out because I think there could be some baby tortoises. So we're going to go see if we got some baby tortoises. Theo and I are going to go do that. And if that craziness sounds like something that all of you guys want to see, well, guys, we're going to hop right right into that. I made it over to my office and this right here is where I keep all of the eggs. So pretty much whenever the tortoises lay eggs, we actually dig them up out of the ground as you guys have seen. If you've been here, you know we dig them up and we put them in here. The reason why we put them in this incubator right here is so they all hatch. If you were to keep all of those eggs in the ground, well, most of them are not going to hatch. We want to have a high hatch rate. So that's why we put them in here. So let's take a look. So right here, obviously we can't see anything. Let's look up here and right there. You see that? There's a, there's a crack right there. The egg is open. So let's open it on up right now. So yep, baby tortoise. Baby tortoise right here in the back. Okay, Let, let's slide this on out right here. One, two, okay. We've got this slid out. Looks like we got two hatchlings. So let's close this on up. We wanna make sure it stays nice and warm. And look at this. This is the moment I've been waiting for, for quite a while now. Let's open it up, one, two, three. Oh my goodness, look at this. New life, tiny baby red-footed tortoises. Absolutely adorable, let's look at this guy. He's nice and active, hey man. Hey little guy, how you doing? So this is what a tiny baby red-foot tortoise looks like. Looks like he probably has been in here for a couple days, his yolk sac is absorbed. And he looks like he's ready to kick it. He's looking good. He's a little bit dusty, but look at this. Tiny little tortoise, literally the size of about a quarter. So we got him right here. And then we have his little buddy here. This one's a little bit smaller. Hey, man, you just hatched out. We have these two hatchlings here, but there's also other eggs here. And oh, no, this doesn't look good. So this egg right here looks rotten. As you can see, let's lift it up. I don't think this one's going to hatch. Look at that. It's leaking all of this nasty goo. Yeah, this egg is definitely rotten and spoiled. Wait, wait, let's... Oh, guys. So that egg is definitely rotten. I'm not sure about these other ones, but so let's grab this guy and this one, and we have a little bin for them right here. I'm gonna get these little tortoises set on up in the reptile room, and now the moment all of you have been waiting for, we're gonna hop into the main part of today's video. I found Xena attacking and killing some animals. I can't believe my dog would do that, so if you guys wanna see what happened, what's going on now, well, you guys are in the right place. Xena, Xena, what are you doing? Xena just caught a dove. Guys, I think, I think the, the, the beast, stop it. No, what are you, let go of the dove, no. Hey, no, give me the dove. Xena just attacked this dove. Cliff, she just jumped up. Mom, mom, what did you see happen? Come here, come here, come closer. This is insane. No, 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 stop. God, Xena, no. Xena, what are you doing? Well, the dove's already dead. Zena, no, give it, I need it, Z let go of the dove, give it to me, give me the, Zena! There's two doves and she jumped up and grabbed the dove. She jumped, Zena, what are you doing? What? Um, oh, oh, she's crunching, she, I can't, I can't, I can't. So Zena grabbed this dove and ate it, I, I never expected her to do it, but look, the dove's other friend must have flown in here and, and is trapped, Zena, 
You are really bad, but the Dove's other friend is in here. We gotta try and get him out, okay? Um... Hi, this looks like a young dove. Come on, we gotta fly out. Oh, this is not okay, guys. We're, we might need a net. No, 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 she's gonna... no, Zena, get back! She's coming to get the dove. No, get back! No. Wait, wait. All right, I caught it. I caught the dove. I caught the dove. Zena is really. I cannot believe Zena came here. Sorry, guys. She just hopped out of the shower. I cannot believe Zena just came running in here and tried to grab this poor helpless pigeon and try and eat it. This is. This is the craziest thing ever. So I just want to check out this pigeon, but I just literally can't believe that Xena tried jumping up to grab this one after she already ate his partner. Xena, I think Xena has been the beast all along. I'm not entirely sure, but this is just so sad to think. So this guy seems all right. Xena is not giving a care, but all right, we're going to take him over here. Let's release this guy right now. We've got our pigeon. We got to give her a safe release in three, two, one. There she goes. So we released the pigeon now. I got Theo Jr. to be my backup assistant for today, but look at the dogs. They're just wrestling around the poor feathers of the bird. I think Xena's trying to eat the feathers. Xena, I am not happy with Xena, and I don't think Theo is happy quite um, honestly either, but you know, Xena was just, it was her natural instincts kicking in, trying to get the bird, trying to protect her. Zeus, Zeus had no part in such behaviors, but Xena, this is the feathers of the poor bird. Do you smell them? That's the feathers of the bird. Oh my, she just ate the feathers. So the dogs are kind of protecting and she won't move off of the feathers because this is the only thing that's left of the bird. We have the bird over there. So these feathers are here. Xena, why did you eat Xena? You've been really bad. That was not okay. Not okay at all. Zeus and Xena are guarding the feathers over there from the poor pigeon. There's actually, there's some more feathers over here. And I'm going to be burying the pigeon with Theo. I think it's only proper that we give him the proper resting place, given that my dog quite literally snatched it out of the air. But these are the remnants here from the other feathers. And unfortunately... There's nothing that we could have done. Her instincts kicked in and here are the feathers. But there's one thing that we must do. I'm gonna take a look in this enclosure right here and I'm gonna see if there's any other pigeons in here. Obviously, there was two. I thought there was only one. And there ended up being two. This I'm not seeing anything over in this enclosure. I think there was only two pigeons trapped in there. So now, the only thing left to do, the proper thing for us to do, Theo, come on, get up on the shoulders. What are you doing, monkey? You need some help? The only proper thing left to do, Theo and I, we're gonna go get this pigeon and we're gonna lay her to rest. This pigeon didn't deserve this. I, I literally still can't believe that Zeus and Xena did that. Theo, my assistant, and I, we're gonna go grab a shovel, we're gonna go grab that pigeon, and we're gonna head back to my avocado grove back here, and that is where we're going to lay this pigeon to rest. Well, Theo and I made it here to my back avocado grove. I've got my shovel right here. We've got, we've got our handy dandy shovel. The dogs followed us. We got Zeus Jr. and Xena. Xena's the culprit. You shouldn't even be at this funeral. But basically we have our pigeon in here. I decided to wrap the, the helpless pigeon in the paper towels. You can see the, the feathers from the bird right here. There's the, the bird is wrapped up in here. Now Theo is gonna help me out right now. Theo's just hanging out up in the trees. He's just gonna help me on out. Theo, you having fun up in the tree? Here, why don't you come here? Theo, let's go. Come on, let's get back on the shoulders. Let's go. So Theo's gonna help me out. We've got our shovel in. I'm thinking this is gonna be the final resting ground. It's like nice soft ground. It should be nice and easy to dig on out. I'm thinking it's gonna be pretty good. So we're just gonna take our shovel right now. And Theo, come here and help me out. We're just gonna dig a hole for this pigeon. Let's dig the holes, all right? Let's dig. And I think that is it. We actually hit the root base of this tree. So we have, I think it's a decently deep hole. We've got our hole. Theo, thanks for helping out. You were a great assistant. So we've got our hole. Now we've got our pigeon wrapped up in this paper towel. I'm gonna give it the proper burial and resting place that it deserves. So we're putting it right up on in here. And let's get our shovel. Let's start shoveling it on up. Let's break some of this up. And this is looking good. We just wanna make sure that it's nice and buried because if we don't bury it all the way, then when it starts to decompose, well, other animals are gonna smell that. And then they're gonna come here to the mound and they'll dig it up. So you wanna have it pretty deep so that smell doesn't penetrate because these animals have extremely good smell and i think that is absolutely perfect and well that is going to end today's episode today's video was pretty insane i was not expecting it i literally hopped out of the shower 
to my mom at the door telling me, you gotta get out here, Xena's attacked a pigeon. Never would I have ever imagined something like that would happen. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, well, please make sure to go right now, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below what you thought of today's video, and if you wanna see more adventures with me and Theo, you wanna see more of Xena, you wanna see the rest of the crew here, well, all you guys gotta do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.